In this video, we are going to talk about the acidic strength of carboxylic acids. Now, carboxylic acids, like the majority of compounds out there which have the word acid in it, exhibit acidic properties. But the question is, how strongly acidic is carboxylic acid? Is a carboxylic acid stronger than some of the most common acids that we know in our everyday lives or that we use in our laboratories like, say, HCl or H2SO4? How can we tell? Well, for that, we use something called the pK values. You are already familiar with the pK values, right? pK values give us an indication of the relative acidities or the acidic strength of different acids. And pK value is nothing but the negative logarithm of Ka value, which is our acid dissociation constant, correct? So, to figure out the pK value of our carboxylic acids, let's look at the dissociation of acid in water. Now, in water, carboxylic acid dissociates to give carboxylate ion and H3O+. As you can see, this is an equilibrium reaction and the acid dissociation constant for this reaction, Ka would be the concentration of the conjugate base of our acid, which is RCO- multiplied by the concentration of our H plus ion or hydronium ion divided by the concentration of our starting acid. And by substituting the Ka value that we get here, in this equation, we get the value of our pK. Now, smaller the pK value, greater will be the strength of our acid. Alright, so let's now see how the pK value of carboxylic acid compares with the pK value of other acids like HCl and H2SO4 that we mentioned before. And turns out that if we take a look at the pK values of various acids, strong acids have a pKa of less than 1. For example, if you look at this scale, okay, this is only for representation, it's not for scale. The pKa of strong acids like HCl, HI and H2SO4 are given here. You can see that they are all less than 1. HI has a pKa of minus 9, HCl has a pKa of minus 7, H2SO4 has minus 3. Basically, minus 3 refers to the first dissociation or the loss of the first proton. And acids that have a pKa in the range of 1 to 5 are said to be moderately acidic. While weak acids have pKa values between 5 and 15, Extremely weak acids have pK values which are greater than 15. And the pK value of our carboxylic acid lies somewhere around this value, which is 5. So as you can see here, compared to mineral acids like HI, HCl and H2SO4, carboxylic acids can be considered only moderately acidic. But that should not cause any disappointment because you know what? Carboxylic acids are in fact the strongest or the most acidic of organic compounds. Yes, they are indeed much more acidic than other organic compounds that can release an H plus ion like alcohols and phenols. The pK values of phenols is around 10 and alcohols are very weakly acidic with their pK values in the range of 16 to 18. Now compare this range of alcohols with a carboxylic acid, let's say acetic acid, which has a pKa of around 4.74. And as you can see, this acidic acid is many, many folds more acidic than even the most acidic of alcohols. I hope this drives the point home about how acidic carboxylic acids are as compared to other organic compounds like alcohols and phenols. You see, alcohols, phenols and carboxylic acids all exhibit their acidic properties due to the presence of OH bond in them, correct? By breaking this OH bond, these compounds are able to release H plus ions that determine their acidic strength. But what drives this reaction forward in the first place? I mean, what is the incentive for any of these compounds to break this OH bond? Well, one of the key factors that determines whether this dissociation process is favored at all is the stability of the conjugate ion that is formed. Any factor that makes the conjugate base more stable would mean that the reaction is favored towards the right and it results in the formation of more H plus ions and as a result our compound will be more acidic. So in the next video, let's look at the conjugate bases of alcohols, phenols and compare it with the conjugate base of carboxylic acid and see why carboxylic acid is actually more acidic than these two and what factors contribute to the stability of the conjugate base here.